Where you I'm gonna fire up the forge or... here, so just in case. Yeah. Alrighty. Be aware. Yeah, it's a little bit before the daytime. It shouldn't be too bad. Uh, there could be 21, so we have like two more hours till the zombies stop running. In game. Recipes. Make some more torches. I'm gonna put up a few more street lights around the um, the horde base. And once Sounds Alpha good. 16 comes out, torches are gonna draw attention from the. Zombies. Oh really? Yes. Oh and gosh, it's gonna be rough. Torches are also gonna factor into the heat level in your chunk. So if you have a oh, crap ton yeah. of torches, that itself could potentially, depending on how much heat they generate, spawn in mm. Oh boy. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be different. This, the new stealth system actually utilizes low light. So like the mining helmet is gonna be yeah. a bad thing at night. Oh no, I like it though. Around. Yeah, but the uh, the night vision got a huge update. That's good. Does it make it so you see. can see much better? Yeah, because this grainy stuff, no bueno, no good. <laughs> uh, Joel did a uh, preview video, I think it was two weeks ago, and he used the night vision, and it's like, or no, actually, I think that was three nights ago, because or three weeks ago, because his last two videos were for night defense. Huh. And he actually showed the night vision, and it's like, still had the green tint and everything, but you could actually see clearly through it. Oh, that's it's nice. A huge improvement. So it's just like getting rid of the pixels. Yeah. That'll make it a lot more usable. And it's like he stood almost right next to a zombie. Uh, he was crouched and it didn't see him. Yeah. <laughs> Saw that. And he was like, it should be seeing me right now. I think we need to tweak this. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff nah. wasn't too good. Because it's like. He was literally like uh, less than a block away, like a full block away. Oh wow! The roller was coming past him, so it's like, yeah, it should be at least smell me by now. That is crazy. I cannot wait for that update. Oh. Now, and there's electricity that's being added in. Yeah, I'm curious how that's gonna work. It might add a lot to the game. Yeah, All it's... kinds of new traps that'll be powered yeah. by it. Yeah. The, the Security camera, oh, turrets. Yeah. The auto turrets, yeah, those look so cool. That was awesome. Uh, I was a little. Oh, man, I gotta I watch those videos. Oh my gosh. I was checking all the forums to see what was actually, like the the first part of the um, Alpha 16 dev thread. It uh, it's been updated, and I hadn't looked at it for a while to see what was delayed and everything. And the uh. Uh, the flamethrower trap's been delayed. Oh, okay. Uh. Yep. I guess that's okay. I saw that and I was like, oh. We still got Molotovs coming, though. Oh, wow, <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. That's one oh, thing I should use more in this is crazy. the pipe bombs, even. I don't use them all that often. Wait. Oh, so... Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can make pipe bombs? Oh, yes. Yeah. You can make pipe bombs. You can make oh, my TNT. Goodness. Really? Can you still make the TNT? Didn't know. Yep. Yeah. Yes, you can. That's crazy. Oh. That's, that's another it's... use for paper, by the way. Yeah, I don't think it's uh, the giant red, like, 50 or half block thick TNT that it used to be. <laughs> no. Uh, I think it was either Alpha 13 or Alpha 14. That was like, that was the way you mined, was with TNT. Oh, wow. You'd make like a, a three or four block uh, long, one one block wide tunnel where we were mining. You would place a TNT in it, and then you would back up, and you would shoot it with an arrow, <laughs> and it would make this giant cavern. Because, like, all the blocks and everything that just got blown up would fall on the ground, and you'd go in, hold an E, and you'd just vacuum them all up. It was, it was cool. That's awesome. But, uh, eh, I blew myself up a few times doing that. <laughs> oh, like yeah. A, yeah, like a creeper bomb. Just a few. Okay, so I'm out getting more wood and scouring for feathers. It's almost yeah, yeah, it's almost safe. Almost, almost. 
It's almost time for the chinchillas to go away. Yeah, ah. they're, they're going to sleep. But then they're going to be coming back angrier than ever. Of course. Oh no, I wouldn't have, have it any other way. Nighttime on day seven. Wait, what? So it's. Yes, we have what? Another. What is that going to be? What? 36 hours roughly? Something like that. Ish? Yeah. Day and a half? Yeah. Because we have all the daylight cycle, all the night cycle, and then all the daylight cycle again. So it's. So it 20, starts at. It's 2200 day seven is when the blood moon starts. And you will know when it starts. I, mm -hmm. I'm not even, I don't even want to warn them what the, what the signal's going to be for They'll them. know. <laughs> <laughs> you will know, and you will be like, what? Oh, no. Kind of I know why we had a screamer. Why's that? There, there was a body just... It was glitched with the ground. Uh, it was probably more due to the forge. Yeah, it could yeah, be. It's, it's all the chopping of trees, the forge. We had the cook fire yeah. going. I mean, you can generate enough heat in a, a block or a... A hub cell just in just by like cutting down trees and chopping. Around. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot that the trees you chopping That's... down trees and stuff even adds to that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So you, when you, we got like four people all working in the same couple yep. of chunks. I keep wanting to call them chunks themselves. Uh, chunks is a Minecraft term. Yep. But if you have, we know what you mean. If you have like two, four, six people all like just cutting down trees, you're generating enough to. Huh. I would have never thought. Why do trees generate heat from you cutting them down? Because it's the noise of them falling. Friction. Oh. Yeah, heat's kind of just a meta metaphor yeah, it's for. It's just a term. It's just a number that slowly ticks up and ticks down in the, the background. Yeah. It's basically it's a level go. of activity. So. Um, you'll get like wandering hordes come by because you're being above a certain activity level in an area. You'll have screamers okay. come in once you hit a certain threshold. And the problem with the screamers is if you don't notice them right away, they like they did yep. last night. They spawned another screamer, which spawns more zombies, which can spawn another screamer, <laughs> which could spawn a zombie bear. And the other screamers can spawn more screamers. Yeah. All oh, manner uh, of fun. Tenth. Oh yeah. Tenth. Yeah. Hang on. I mean, you still have the what is it? Max alive of sixty. Trying to get up. Um. Yeah. It's actually oh, at eighty okay. right now, but. Oh. Get that. Oh, so you got tweaked up a little bit. No, uh, it's the default. It's. Oh. Default. I even might. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But with the yeah. four of us, we should only get eight so, each, so 32. Here. Yeah. Isn't it eight total? Uh, that's the... one of the things they were fixing in Alpha 6. I don't know what this is. Uh, it should be eight per player up to the maximum oh, okay. of the server. I thought that was one of the issues with multiplayer. I haven't played multiplayer in so long. No, it's just that it is eight per player. People want gotcha. more than that. Because uh, Alpha 14, I remember getting like... 20 things just shredding my base. Huh. Oh, yeah. Alpha 14, it was based off of the Night of the Horde. There yeah, was, it wasn't, really wasn't uh, game, game stage, stage or anything. Yeah. Yeah, the game stage was a pretty big pretty big difference. Yeah. We got a drop chest here for wood. I got like 5k wood on we, me here. We sure do. We're uh, it's up, at, uh, at, up the ladder. Base. Okay. Yep. Okay, like, so uh, back in the day with like Alpha 14, you'd get right. 50, 60, 80, 90. But you'd get that's them like all at once. You wouldn't get like the, the stream of eight coming yeah. in all night long. It was brutal. That's... Yeah. Uh, I think you should put the spikes. I'll start with the spikes. All right. Which, uh, hey Bo, do you remember which update it was that they took out the random wandering hordes and put in the, um, the actual horde knights? No. Okay. No, they didn't, uh, fully take out the random wandering hordes. Well, no, like, you're, you're, they used to be a lot more prevalent. I don't know what that word means. I want to say it was Common. 11 or 12, something like that. 
Oh, I, I didn't even play till Alpha 14, I think. Maybe Alpha late, late Alpha 13. Did you ever have the, um... Because when I first started playing, there was no random gen. It was just Navis game. And it wasn't even the full Navis game. No, I've only ever played random gen. I think it was Alpha 8 when I started. And, yeah, uh, I believe it was Alpha 8. Did you ever play, like, early Navis game where if you even walked across the bridge, it would collapse on you? No. And, like, water was only one block deep? <laughs> you could make some amazing under lake bases back then. It was so easy to block the water off. That's what I love about this game. It's like, it's been in dev cycle for, what, three, almost four years now in alpha? But it's like, yeah, a little over three. Every, probably, every alpha to every two alphas, it's a completely different game mechanics wise. And stuff yeah. that used to work, you have to relearn because it doesn't work what anymore. Are you... Yeah, I like that. Oh, what are you doing? Planting trees. Right. Yeah. Oh, you're... Okay. It's trying to keep it separate. Yeah, they gotta be three blocks apart at least, so I just, uh... I just spam it. Yeah, it works. <laughs> I'm just a little OCD that way. Because I remember when, oh, we first, when I first started this game, like, you could find shotguns on pretty much every... Every zombie. Oh my gosh, uh, really? When you loot, like, shotgun shells, it would show, like, you'd get, like, one, maybe two shells, is what you thought you were getting, but it was eight rounds per unit that you picked up. <laughs> so you'd be loaded with shotgun shells all the time. The quickest way to get into a building was to shoot the door, because, uh, like, two shots from a shotgun, the door would just be splinters on the ground. Oh, wow. Uh, it's whatever the nerf glass... that quite a bit though. Oh, so you never had shaped crafting, Bella? No. Oh, you missed so much. Yeah, I, I've seen it, but the the starting uh, the starting crafting was ultra complex. It was like you'd have to smack a, smack the little bush things a couple times, and you'd get like individual sticks drop off it. Like like this thing that I'm looking at right now, you'd whack it like three or four times, and sticks would come off it. You got to pick the sticks up, convert them to sharp sticks. Uh, that was like your first weapon before you could even do a club. Um, exactly. So you'd have the... a stick, like you'd pick up like a rock, you'd have to convert it to sharp stone. Oh, jeez. Then you'd have a feather, a sharp stone, and a, um, <laughs> uh, a stick to make an arrow. And you had to place them in the right pattern. Uh, Gosh. Making the mini bike was like, oh, uh, because it was like a, it was a five by five grid. Oh. Have you did you ever play Minecraft? Yep. With like the three by three grid. Imagine oh, yeah. a five by five grid for shape. Oh my gosh! No, 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 no. Yep. Three was bad enough to figure out like random weird and... stuff. Hey, Boa, did you ever have to do molds for the forge? Nope. Okay. I think that was Alpha 13. So like, Where do we to... want these uh, spikes? Uh, I'll come over in just a second. I'm on the way actually, over, actually. I'll put one down just to see what it looks like. You'd actually have to... Like, this use clay to make a mold of a glass jar to make glass jars. Oh my gosh. This game has come a long way. Oh yeah, it was... This game has come so far. <clears throat> yeah, I think they decided to abandon all that because it was just too complex for a lot of players. Oh so. yeah, it was. It was really, really hard to follow. Just by looking at the game, at that point where you had the shape crafting, that looked very tedious and very annoying. Because I came in uh, right, right between the alphas where they changed from like the. Uh, like the Minecraft style worlds where it was like blocks layered on top of each other. Not like the yeah. square blocks, but they were a little bit not fully square. Because I think it was Alpha 8. The big, the big thing between Alpha 8 was that it was smooth terrain. Mm. Wait, so literally just flat? No, no, no. It was like the blocks blended together. So you oh, have wow. like sloping hills. That was huge back in the day. Because it's like, you'd be 
It'd be like you'd play Minecraft and you'd have to hop all the time, going up the hill. Uh. <laughs> it was really derpy. Okay, yeah, so we got uh, 10,000 wood in there. Ah. Spikes are expensive, though. Ow. I almost got hit by a tree. Okay, those are not the spikes we want. All right. Those, those I are didn't expensive know. spikes. Oh. You want the wood log spikes? Oh, uh, hey, I typed in that? spikes. That's all it came yeah. up. The wood log spikes take 20 each. They don't do as much damage, but they're a lot more durable. And oh, okay. the regular spikes, the small spikes, take 100. Yep. What we want to do is the log spikes. We're gonna start crafting a whole bunch of these. What was that? I mean, this isn't bad. These ones can be. Yeah. Up I have 14 more. Oh, you have 14 more of them. All uh huh. Right. Don't don't place them there because there's gonna be a All row right. of spikes immediately under here, and then okay. one more row in front of it, and then if we want to put these ones spaced out every once in a while. Those things are really right. expensive. Yeah, I, I had a lot of wood. I, I picked some up, and I just want to get more. Okay, so one of the things we would need to do is get rid of the grass here. Because it's going to interfere with placing the spikes down. So... Boa, you said you came in in Alpha 14? Yeah. So, you remember the the old thin wood spikes that would like, glitch under your feet as you were placing them? Oh, mm, yeah. Yeah. I died so many They were a whole lot that. cheaper, too. So. Oh, yeah, they were only like 10 wood or something like that. They were super yeah. cheap. But it's like every other one you'd place would wind up placing under your own feet. That sounds awful. Oh, yeah. Give her a lawnmower. <laughs> if only there was one in this game. Oh, they have it in mods. Joel yeah. is Joel is for some reason just opposed to putting a lawnmower in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been asked quite a few times. Yeah. I think he's I think at this point he's just it's like he might be on the verge of putting it in and then somebody asks <laughs> him to put it in and then he's like, screw nope. that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Every time they uh, ask for a it. lawnmower, I'm going to delay it another year. Someone's out of energy. Yeah, I'm overheating a little bit. Oh, those spikes. Okay. Uh, yeah. They can be upgraded all the way to steel to those ones. So. Oh. Yeah. Wood what are they spikes. called? What? Wood log spikes. spikes. And then there's going to be another row in front. Uh, I gotcha. Like that. So they'll stand on here, and then when they break their legs off, they'll kind of go forward into this next one. It's not totally ideal, but one of the yeah, things we can do. Oh, jeez. One thing I think is underused is the barbed wire. I actually kind of like it. Huh. It's good for taking off legs, and it slows them down, so you can sh shoot incoming yeah. easier. Yeah, and it's not too expensive either. Nah. It makes it a bit of a pain to navigate your own uh, spike beds and wherever you place them, <laughs> depending on how you place them, but... Sounds cool. So did we want these the whole way around? Yep, pretty much. Alright, I have a good bit of them. I'm gonna go ahead and make like 60 of the small spikes, just for if we decide to use them. Add a lot of wood, getting a lot more. Yep. They are expensive, but they are a yeah, fair bit more effective I have than those. of the big ones. Or of the good ones, I guess. And then, uh, don't put the second row all the way around yet. Because I kind of right. changed my mind on the design a little bit. Alright. So we'll need to be, only have to have 
one row down so that way we can upgrade these. Alright, I'll take these out. Oh, if you got them placed down already, just leave them. All right. Just so we don't waste them. No worries. As I say that, I'll just put one row around. I gotta go back to the base and get some water. Yeah, just to the southeast of I the horn base either. there, uh, I planted a bunch of trees just so nobody chops them down if thinking they're weeds. Till they sprout Here's some a little. Water. You are quite well. Yeah, the, the forest is getting pretty sparse around us already. It is. Yeah, there is there's a decent amount more to the north. Kinda over by where that military camp was. A little bit of a walk, but it's not too bad. We have a lot up there, or no? Uh, we got 2,500 left in the okay. box. I just took 2,500 to upgrade the spikes. All right, I'm gonna place down these uh, random ones here. Uh, be careful. So much easier if we had a nail gun. <laughs> Don't we have a claw hammer? Yeah, there should be one in the box. I'll go grab one. I need a little bit more water and food anyway. Burning through water building this stuff. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, bring some more water and food over. No. And just put it in the drop <laughs> I said no. Garden's Please? almost grown up. Coffee ready to replace. I'll be right over there. <sighs> okay, so stack of water. Are you working on the other one? Oh, I thought someone was up here. Nope. Um, bring over some boiled meat. Somebody's going to have to make a water run. I may go do yep. that. Do we have I more? put a bunch of sand in the forge. You could, uh, there should be sand in there now. There I'll start burning up some more of those. We're not burning, making some more of those. Sheesh. Making up a lot of, um... Uh... Stuff. Yes, I'm making up a lot of stuff. Sure. <laughs> yep. Stuff and things. Making up a lot of, uh, frames. Finally. English has been hard today. <laughs> yep, it happens. So, how much time do I need? About ten minutes. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's why. Er
My skill on crafting in miscellaneous crafting has already went from 24 to 27. Nice. I don't know what it was at originally. Oh. What happened? What did you do? Nothing. Uh huh. What happened? I just completely forgot that we have a pool in the backyard, and I was getting ready to check the map <laughs> to see how far the water was. <laughs> Derp. I didn't know you could use that water. Yeah, oh yeah, you can use any water. You just gotta have a pot to uh, boil it down in the jars. Yeah. Well. The derpiness Ooh. of yep. Don Bad has been staying all day. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I had to work today. Oh, that's no good. How long did you work today, huh? Huh? I don't even have a job. Exactly. I'm too Freeloader. young to have a job. Freeloader. <laughs> you didn't even mow the lawn today. Because I didn't need to. It needed to be mowed like three days ago, at least. Not the main part that we use. Oh. I just found night vision goggles. Nice. Okay, so we got ten water and <coughs> ten boiled meat in the drop chest. Okay. Oh, and I forgot the claw hammer. Oh my goodness! Ooh, hush. I'm improving your base, so hopefully we don't die as quick. <laughs> as quick. I'm not changing your design, I'm just fortifying it. You'll still see flaws in your design. Uh, well, of course. Uh, what's tools? Claw hammer. Surprised I've broken my ankles coming off the roof like I have. Do we have the nail gun blueprint yet? Um, did we? I didn't see it in there. Don't really know unless they have a part. Oh, okay. Not a craftable item, so I can't. Oh yeah, yeah. I think. Parts. I think I may have, may have gotten it. Not sure now though. I know we can make the sniper rifle. Uh, no, yeah, about that. What? Uh, about that. Um. Ah. Almost hit the spike. For some reason, I can't. Uh, it's not even showing up in the bench for me. Oh. Uh, it's because you don't make the parts, you assemble it from parts you find. Yeah. Oh. You used the recipe to just allows you to do that. Oh, oh did bolts. you? Oh, yeah. Uh, it was either 13 or 14. You could strip down uh, guns, and you'd get, you wouldn't get all the parts. You'd get, like, random parts, I think. That was a while ago. But then you could make a clay mold for, like, a hunting receiver. Um, a hunting oh, receiver. yeah. Can somebody move the uh, drop chest? Why? No. It's in the way. It's in the way of what? Okay. I'll just craft another one. Actually, never mind. Okay then. I don't even know who uh, placed it down. I did. I just placed it wherever. Ah. Somebody 
these spikes. And they will get trashed so quick. I'll pump some iron out of the forge here for fortifying them log spikes. Yeah, I got an iron arrowhead out of a zombie. Nice. Right on. That never happens. They always give me those sandwiches that nobody wants. <laughs> yeah, the sham sandwiches. Ugh. Yeah, they're a fertilizer ingredient. If you get enough of yeah. them, you have a cement mixer. Uh, no, not the sandwiches. Those make moldy bread for antibiotics. Oh, yeah, moldy bread. Sure. It's the, that rotting flesh and yeah, the turds. Yeah, the... for fertilizer. Yeah. That's the one you use in the cement mixer. Yep. Yeah. Wow. So, Except the cement mixer. Just grab uh, the last 2,500 stack of the wood. I'm still not done the uh, spikes yet. So well, I still have uh, 1,717, and I'm still uh, working with it. So I think what my priority is going to be for at least the first half of the day on day seven is going to be air, uh, feathers. Mm -hmm. Arranging out, finding as many feathers as I can. Okay, so um. Because we're going to need arrows. Oh yes, we are. I believe I'm done up here. All right. Ugh. Stop out. connecting One to the row. ladder. Oh. Wait, what are we gonna do for the entrance? I don't it's know. up to you guys. Blocking it off. But then how do we get in and out? You gotta have ingress and egress points. So that way when we get overrun, we can get out. Did someone run into the spike? Oh, jeez! What? Yeah, we've been a little oh, busy. Oh, spikes on the wall. Oh. Been a little bit busy. Oh, the spikes on the wall. I'm gonna upgrade these down behind you. Okay. Okay. Is that as many as we're having? Do, don't accidentally step on the spikes. Yeah, I'm doing my best. I know. At least I should now. I ran into one. <laughs> These don't do as much damage. Uh, they can make you bleed. They don't do as much damage, but they uh, are a lot more durable. That's definitely what we need. Ladder. 
Okay, did you buy the uh, ladder climbing perk? Huh. <laughs> Take that as a no, so you're trying to accomplish an untrained feat. Uh, that's a negative power ah. on your roll. Does somebody need extra frames? No, I have some. What in the world? Why can't I... Get up the ladder. Okay. That's a you problem. I know it's a me problem, not a you problem. <laughs> what? In the Really? Are you still trying to climb that ladder? Yes! <sighs> there comes a time where one just gives up and tries an alternate method. It's true. And I think you've exceeded that point. Time for me to buy a new mouse. The right mouse button is like hmm. wearing, worn out, wonky. I'm up by the use of state of. Uh... Oh no! Yeah, there's a they're they're in random spots. <laughs> Yeah, watch, they're randomly uh, displaced in her place, so. Yeah, that's wrong. Eh, you know. It got you. No, my placement is wrong. I know. I know you know. <laughs> and you know that I know that you know that I know that you know. Exactly. Okay, if me. What the heck? Exactly, Dex. Did we just break your brain? Or are you still fighting with that ladder? No. Hmm. No, we didn't break your brain, or no, you're not fighting with the ladder? Both. Is that even on the two sides? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Now I'm out of wood. Okay, so midday, day six. Okay, so, um. <sighs> okay. I have made a little connection between the. between the two on each side. Okay. So you can actually get up from that. Well, actually, I think you should probably. I think I need to fix that. It actually... So you need to. So you're able to get in on the uh, inside of the tower. Not yet. You're not. Come here. What? Where? What? Climber. Use that for building. Okay. 
I'm going to start going out and looking for birds' nests and more trees. Out to our north. Got a little bit of food and water on me. It'll all be fine. Nothing bad can happen here. I just did a sweep of the north side of the town for birds' nests, so there might not be a whole lot there unless you go over the hill. Yeah, I'm going over the hill. All right. All right I see the military base there now on that web, web map. Yep. So I'm going to be going north-northeast, and the military base is kind of north-northeast-ish. Actually, no, it actually is purple north northeast. But we got plenty of decent sized trees over here, the twelve hundreds, the nine hundreds. We're still gonna need quite a bit more wood to help fortify that stuff. Most of the base is just a single level wood frame. Uh, okay. Uh, Uh, looks like northeast. No, from it's, uh, uh, southeast side. Southeast. Of town. Oh. Oh, go for oh it. it's over that way. I was, still, I was watching for the plane. Yeah, so southeast, it's it's quite a ways. Keep uh, clear of those two stores down there, the Poplin Pills and Bookstore. Otherwise, it'll re reset the spawn timer. So otherwise, it should be spawning day 12 or 13 again. Those two stores. Yeah. More in there. It's one thing I don't pay attention to enough. Yeah. Well, half my playthrough they play with spawning off or respawn off. Oh, okay. Because usually I'll mark on the mini map the last day that I was in it, how many days before it respawns. That's a good idea. And like usually what I'll do is if I'm going through like the hub city or something like that, I'll put like a, an X on each of the I'll clear it out by blocks. So I'll put an X on the cleared out blocks. And then like so, a, a marker if I left like a gun safe or something in one of the buildings. So, so I, uh, I want to go back. Yeah. And Bow. Hey. Uh you wanna come over to the base? I'm on the northeast side of town right now. Okay, well, at least time. Uh, we still have this raider complex to loot. Now, one of these buildings has landmines in it. Are you inside the top of the base? I'm um, coming over now. Okay. Really? I'm struggling with a ladder again. It happens. A lot. Some more beer and water. Nice. Okay, so come up. This one, yeah, landmine right there. Do you see the ladders? Yeah. We're trying to jump up. Yeah, these are nice. Okay. Yeah, I can... Myself. All for a gun safe that I don't even really want to open yet. Wait, 
Don't uh, upgrade these far ones. Right. Because I need to do it on the opposite side. One thing I've never tried in like one of my playthroughs is um, fortifying and using them. one of these little raider bases as my base. Oh boy. Mm. Uh oh. Did the server just crash? Here, yeah. Perhaps. Yep, yeah. So. yeah. Oh crap. Blue screen. 